Welcome back to Flea Market Finds with Movie John and Rousey Rhonda here. We went out of town this past weekend to uh, Bristol, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Went to Tri-Cities Flea Market and you picked up quite a bit of stuff. You picked up probably more than I did. And she helped me pick up some of my stuff too. You'll know, <laughs> you'll know what I'm talking about later on in the video. Uh, well, how'd you think of the flea market? It's a pretty big flea market. That was a good flea market. Um, wish it was a little bit warmer. It was kind of cool, but yeah, it was nice. It was big. Um, one of the better ones I've been to. What are you laughing about? Because <laughs> it was no. big and nice. Yeah. Anyway, that's what she said. Uh, let's uh, go on to the uh, stuff that we picked up. Some of the things you picked up was at an antique store too, but we'll go ahead and throw them in there too. And same same way with me. Yeah. But we also did pick up a lot of stuff for the grandbabies that we're not showing. Yeah, we picked up a few things for <clears throat> each lot. one of the grandbabies. We went to one guy and he had a <clears throat> bunch of toys and bags and stuff for a dollar and stuff. So we got some really good deals off mm -hmm. of him. Uh, plus, I picked up one thing off of him. Yeah, you did. I'll go ahead and show okay. it. It's the uh, ECW Chris Candido figure here. This is from the uh, late 90s. These are the very first ECW figures. I am trying to collect them all. I think I got about maybe close to 20 of them now. Uh, this is one I was really trying to find. Uh, I, this is a little harder one to find. It's got this little lever on the back. Well, I don't know if he's supposed to punch or what. <laughs> His hand's going backwards now. I don't know, he's deformed. But anyway. Yeah, right there. He's got hit you on a noggin or whatever. Chris Candido figure. Two dollars for an ECW figure from like, I think it came out in 99. Uh, they did redo a lot of them on uh, uh, Mattel and the WWE lines now. But I like the original ones. They were made by original San Francisco toy maker from the 90s here. Show them one of your first pickups. Oh. Uh -huh. It was really that one, wasn't it? <clears throat> we looked everywhere. <clears throat> Uh, almost near to the last building before she finally started finding stuff. That was the crazy thing. And actually, <clears> you <throat> found these. Yeah, show them up there. What are they're, they? They're clowns. clowns. Yeah, salt and pepper shakers. They're really cute. You found those for me. They're kind of like wooden type of feel. They like wooden. Ooh, you don't drop them. Now he's dropped some of mine and broke them. Yeah. Uh, just go ahead and show a few um, more because you do have more stuff than I got. Now, these are really cool. These are cool. I'm still trying to get info on them. Mm -hmm. I know they're really old. They're from Japan, but and then, oh, they do have markings on them. See, you're gonna have this to look it up, man. Set sixty-two. Hmm, sixty-two of what? Uh, seven eighty-four. Huh. Is that good? I guess. I don't know. You no, know, there's only limited the I don't know what. What are they? A pair and what? I, Is I'm it not a pair? sure. If anybody know. knows, <laughs> trying to figure it out. I did post in my um Facebook group. Yeah. <laughs> that I belong to. There's a little old lady there that had a lot of other uh, ones. Show them these? three off there and then right. I'll show some more of my stuff. Alright, so these little, yeah. little lambs. Little lambs. These probably were Cracker Barrel ones. They look like something from Cracker Barrel. Cause cause they do a lot of them. So the woman did make a dollar off of us because she uh, yeah, sold the two dollars. And these birds I think these too. These birds, they're cute. Yeah. Didn't have any birds. And really that's the first one I think you mm. found here, this one. Yeah, this one um, it's the pepper, but it's got this bear that says I'm, I'm, I'm salty bear, but they kind of hot. They go together yeah. like that, but then you can't see what's on the And it says I love pepper I love on the pepper. front. So. Those are really cute. We went to a dealer that had some records and some CDs and then the cassette tapes. <laughs> and we're getting in the cassette. Well, I'm supposed to be getting the cassette, cassette tapes, but then... She finds some and goes, ooh, ooh, you got to get this. This one was a no-brainer. This is Purple Rain. Uh, of course, I'm trying to get soundtracks. Uh, so this one is a soundtrack, and it's a it cool is. one. So had this one when I was a kid, played it over and over and over and over and over. And uh, good soundtrack. Uh, mm -hmm. Got the movie and everything. I know old uh, J-Dub, he uh, picked his up at a... Um, record store they went to and then opened it up and found out that the tape wasn't in it. I always After check my yeah, I always <laughs> check my tapes J dub and it is the Purple Rain soundtrack. I checked every one of these. Guy had a, another Prince one. It's called uh, Around the World in a Day. Mm -hmm. It's got Pop Life and um, Raspberry Beret on it and 
what was the other one? There's another big hit on this one. Pop Life, America, uh, let's see. Round World, Paisley Park, Raspberry Beret. Maybe that was, uh, America was a decent one too. Mm -hmm. uh, so then she's, ooh, 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 Tracy Chapman. That's not a soundtrack and it ain't metal or heavy <laughs> metal or whatever. But uh, it's her first, uh, and, well, this one really ain't either, but it's Prince. I mean, I have a feeling we're probably going to pick up all the Prince ones. Because uh, Jason does have a few of them, so we might have to pick what? up some more of him. But there's Tracy Chapman. We I, both like Tracy Chapman, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I didn't right. have to have the tape, but the rest of these that I found off that guy are <laughs> hair metal. Well, there's... You can go, <laughs> this one she really got excited for. Yes, this, I one's, did. this one you turn sideways. This is poison flesh and blood. So, yeah. What you looking at me like that for? <laughs> you know you like them. Anyway, this is the first one I found. I had this when I was a kid, too. David Lee Roth, Eat Him a Smile. Pretty cool cover there. And you're mm -hmm. looking at, you don't remember that one? Yeah, hey. Yankee Rose. He didn't, I mean, some of his. He had two or three albums before he uh, went back to back to Van Halen for a short little time, but I always liked this one. It's pretty cool. Uh, this next one, you remember them? Yes, I picked that one out. Yeah, are you? I maybe you Winger one? right here. This is um, in the heart of the young. This doesn't have the Seventeen song on it. That's the only song I remember. Of Winger, mm -hmm. remember Seventeen? Mm -hmm. That's the only one. Of course, this is a no-brainer. Slippery When Wet, Bon Jovi. There's a, he had all these for $2 a piece. And then this last one, I didn't think I picked up. And we were eating breakfast this morning at the IHOP on our way home. And I was thinking, uh, I should have bought this one. This is Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinky Rich. This is Warrant. Uh, so, um, I don't know if this has got Uncle Tom's Cabin on it or not. I don't see that one. I probably know some of them once I listen to them or whatever, but that was from the same dealer, and he said, "Do you have a, uh, a tape player? Or do you just collect them and put them on the shelf?" I'm like, "No, I got a new one." And the, these we've told that to two or three people when we were down there. Mm -hmm. So uh, show off some more of your stuff there. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Yeah, he found this one. It's, it's an Indian and head and a drum. drum. This is really cool. You did close, man. There this you go. Really Got to cool. show it. But he found that one mm -hmm. for me. It just sets on top of the drum. Oh, oh. and um, gators. Little gators. Oh, them look like cool. something that'd be at Cracker Barrel too. I don't know. Maybe Cracker Barrel does sell a lot of them. And these were cute. Yeah. These are just like white houses, but simple. <laughs> but they were cute. You made out like a bandit. I did, and I start to talk about one I'm upset about, but... Oh, okay. Go ahead and show that off, and then we'll go back to mine. Um, peppers. Peppers. Well, I guess they're little bell peppers bell or whatever. Peppers. Or... Red bell peppers. They're cute. Next up was another figure, and the funny thing was, is once I picked it up and we went back to the hotel, later mm -hmm. on that night, I, I kept looking. Well, it was actually the next morning. I got on Facebook and, and Instagram, and I noticed I kept seeing a lot of Roddy Piper stuff. And that give it away right there. But uh, apparently it was his birthday yesterday when I picked up the Hasbro figure here. This is the uh, from 1990. Gives you the good uppercut. So I did find two wrestlers. There was another guy on there that had a bunch of wrestlers, but it was just nothing I really wanted. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, and then there was some that was still in the packs and stuff that were really expensive, and I was just overpriced. That I could go to 80s Toys or Jason's and get cheaper than that. Some One guy had a Million Dollar Man Legends yeah. one, and it's a new one made by Mattel, and it was like 100 bucks. And I'm like, what the hell? And another dealer we found had the same one for 45, so I don't think it's worth, maybe around 40, I've seen them before, but 100. But this is Roddy Piper. This is an add to my Hasbro collection. Um, and then, well, I guess this was at the flea market. This was another soundtrack. Got the shirt on right here. Footloose. No brainer. I had to get this one too. And years ago when I did have a few tapes, I did have some soundtracks. I did have Footloose. Great soundtrack there. So that's another tape. And then we went to an antique store. And um, you want to talk about that guy for a minute? Well, that guy was... He was selling, buddy. He was selling. He was there to sell. He didn't want you taking your little tickets 
up to the front pane, you had to pay him cash at his little booth. It was like an antique mall or whatever, so it had tons of them. Yeah. But he was pushing them, so... Looking through, yeah. through these cassette tapes, right? Yeah, he had a whole like a suitcase type, and maybe there might have been twenty in there. And he yeah. was only wanting eighteen dollars for them, but there was a lot of country and stuff that I just didn't want. So we're like, can we just pick like one or two? And, and he was like, yeah, a dollar yeah. fifty a piece, two for so. three or whatever. So she's like, ooh, ooh, MC Hammer. <laughs> I'm like, woman, I'm trying to collect like heavy metal. And like maybe some 80s stuff, which this is <laughs> early 90s, um, and some soundtracks. But then the guy, you know, after we get this, I see something else. I said, might as well get that. Chuck Mangione. Now, you might not know Chuck Mangione. She's <laughs> laughing her ass off. It's a jazz guy. Feels so good. I remember this when I was a kid. My dad had this, and I just liked it. And we're going to play <laughs> Feels So Good here in a little bit, and you're going to laugh. But, um... So she puts, he, he goes, give me $3. I said, all right, $3. I'm not sure that's how you say his name. Chuck Mangione, read it. I told you to look on your phone and say Chuck Mangione, and that's the spelling that'll come up. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. then the guy goes, well, I got lots of more at the house. I'm like, it's always, you always hear that when you go, these. I got a ton at the house. I should have brought them. What kind are you looking for? Oh, God. I say rock. You know. <laughs> he goes, well, let me see what you got and kind of compare it to it. And I'm thinking, well, these ain't rock. This is jazz and rap. And he just looks at them real weird at the time. So, um. <laughs> they, between the two of them, I was rolling with tears. Yeah. Couldn't get away from the guy. And he goes, well, you want to buy something to play them on? I'm like, I got something, buddy. Well, you know, you can never have, you can always have more than one. And I'm like, nah, I'm no hoarder. You know, I'm trying not to be, but finding rap and Chuck Mangione. And I want soundtracks and damn metal and can't find it. Did get some hair metal at least. Um, same place though. Anyway, we end up walking away from that guy. He did have a nice record player that he was playing on some big speakers for that one guy. And it did sound really good. And I almost wanted to ask him how much record player and speakers was because who knows, might get into records next. Oh, so we go to another place, and uh, which I had already been into records <laughs> before you came along. Uh, and then I got rid of them. I, I had about 40 or something like that at one time. I got into a little kick, and I had a little record player and everything. Got rid of all of it. But that's just how I am. So then we look at another place. <laughs> So we're back. Uh, we had to take a little pause there. Uh, so we're looking at some movies. And just like I said, I can't hardly go find <laughs> nothing for my collection that I, I, I'm really looking for. And a lot of things I'll pass on. She says, well, you just got money sometimes and you won't buy stuff. Mm -hmm. It's true. And she goes, you haven't seen this. So here, get it. So that's another pick for her, Taken. I we, haven't seen the Taken movies on okay, Blu-ray. We were just talking about that last weekend that he had yeah. not seen any of the Taken movies. And boom, we happen to find number one. And boom. And boom. But Taken on Blu-ray <laughs> for five bucks at an antique store of all places. That is all I got. You got a few more salt and pepper sugar. Show them off. And we got a little... Oh. You stay tuned to after we show this stuff because we got another story about another flea market that's even out there. These oh. are really cool. I found them kind of down. This is a... What did we say? Clamshell and a octopus? Yeah. Right? No, so that's it, a starfish. Or star, starfish. <laughs> and the clam. Yeah. Um, maybe it looks like a vagina. Oh, my God. <laughs> but anyway, uh, now I find stuff for like that, and I say them are cool. I doesn't. I usually don't say, you got to get it or whatever, but, uh, you know, like she does, does mine. That one okay. I did. The little, it, the little Mises, so the little Mises, as um, Jinxie would say. Remember J uh, J uh, Pixie yeah. and Dixie? Oh, and then this guy. She don't remember Pixie and Dixie. I don't believe you. You remember that cartoon? See, you didn't even know it was a cartoon. <laughs> You're like, yeah. I'll just say I do and act like I know. I'm Pretty cool. Much. You know, these were from the well, another I guy. Cool. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, you pretty cool. Anyways, <laughs> this guy followed us around. Yeah. He, uh, first he, he was in a wheelchair. Right. And he had a lot of cool stuff. He had a lot of figures. But and now, a lot hold of, up. Let's get back to the wheelchair because he started off in the wheelchair and said, yeah. oh, my back. Oh, yeah. my leg. And he couldn't get up, so I figured he couldn't chase us. Next thing I know, he's on a cane. Then we walked across. He had two more, like, um, 
not buildings, but booths, booths like, across the way. So yeah. we walked across over there thinking we are going to get rid of them. Really not knowing those were his booths too. Yeah. And buddy, here he come without the cane and without the wheelchair. Yeah. I don't know and what happened to the stuff. I don't know. But to get away from him... He's like, what are you looking for? He's like salt and pepper shakers. By God, he had a set. Mm -hmm. So then I felt bad because he had been chasing us around. That and I felt everything. Like I had to buy yeah. them. I'll give you 20% off and this and that. And this is, you buy this and I'll get, and show me all kinds of VHS which, tapes. A lot of Disney VHS tapes, which I don't really collect or anything. Uh, but this actually yeah, turned out go. to be a good deal. So he wanted 15. Yeah. He sold them to me for 10. I just looked them up and they're worth 50. Yeah, and that's so, Alice in Wonderland. Yes. And they were in a box, they were too. In a they, box. they They were brand the box, new, so. I took them out. But, so, so that was. So that was at Tri Cities Flea Market. If you're ever in Bristol, Tennessee, stop and check it out. Pretty good place. Um, we were going to go to some antique stores there, but today was Sunday and everything didn't open up to 12 or 1 and we're out of bed at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Don't eat breakfast. And either. wanting to go eat, you know, so we just end up leaving and we seen Abington, Virginia, which is right up the road and said, well, there's some places there. Find out a lot of them don't open up to 12 or 1, but we did find another flea market that is called Leroy's. Now, if that don't give you the first hint <laughs> as to what type of flea market this was, I don't know what will. This flea market was dead as hell. It was 10, 30, close to 11 when we got there, and half the booths weren't open. And the ones that were open, there was nobody at. Then the woman come around in a, one of them motor cart things that you ride around in Walmart. Had a two liter pop on one side and a dog on the other side of her, and she's like, Y'all just find me if, if if there's anything you want or need or and something. Never did see her again after that. No. Saw two other guys were driving one of them. And, a, and another older woman. Uh, Quite a few people with walkers. Then you, not sure really where we were. We see some with uh, tires, just a bunch of tires and a bunch of trash piled up in one of them. I'm like, what in the hell? There's nobody hardly there. It looks like we were actually the only ones really, really looking. Mm -hmm. There was a guy there that had a lot of movies. But once you get used to our flea markets and you find DVDs for a dollar and two dollars, you don't want to pay five and ten dollars and eight dollars and nine dollars. He had weird prices, yeah, and they weren't even brand new. I could see if they were brand new, maybe some of them. Uh, he did have one brand new one that was like fourteen dollars or something, uh, some wrestling ones that was like twelve, fourteen dollars. I had two or three of them I glanced at, but I'm like, nah, I could probably find them for five dollars around here. Uh, so his was set up decent. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, and then they finally got to one that had like figures, Star Wars stuff. All kinds of neat looking Posters, stuff. little mini posters mm -hmm. of movies. It, really cool and cheap prices that look because uh, we looked through the little screen net thing that they had there. Um, but of course they weren't open. And there's two old timers over here talking to. Finally she just opens her mouth up and says, Hey, when is these people <laughs> opening up around here? Is anybody going to open up? That's the reaction I got. And there was yes. a long pause, and I'm looking at this stuff, and I finally turn around and goes, Oh, yeah, I'll be here. Well, this guy's open. And I told her he had just nothing, just junk. And I said, You should have told him, well, No, this guy's got the cool stuff over here. We want to look at it. So then the guy says, Ah, oh, sometime after lunch. I'm like, Who the hell does that? I mean, <laughs> it was horrible. Do not ever go to that one. No, I wouldn't recommend it. It was the deadest flea market I've mm -hmm. ever been to. I had been there before a few years back, and I remember that there weren't people open uh, when I went through there, but I think it was, I just thought it was just too early or whatever, so I went on to, to Bristol to check that big flea market out. Uh, but Tri-Cities Flea Market has people outside and inside. Mm -hmm. There was still quite a bit of people outside, but in the summer when it gets real hot, uh, there'll be a lot more people, so we need to go back in June or July mm -hmm. on a good hot day and be, uh, you know, a lot more people there. But there is some things that's overpriced, but there's people there with a lot a lot of sellers with movies, which I passed on a lot of movies. I didn't even look at some here and there because I'm just, I, this is the new thing. right? <gasps> this is the new thing right now. Oh. MC Hammer, and I knocked these two over, but they didn't break. Uh, yeah, MC Hammer tapes. And, uh, Chuck Mangione, and as Chuck you say. Mangione <laughs> and uh, you know other tapes so you know I didn't really want to search out for movies or nothing um, and I did happen to find two wrestling figures I couldn't pass up because I collect Hasbro and I collect the MCW ones but um, 
yeah, now we're going to take time to rearrange some salt and pepper shakers around, put her new ones up, and um, rest for the rest of this weekend. Oh, and we did get married Friday at the beginning of this weekend, so there's my ring if you ain't <laughs> seen it. Uh, she finally... Locked it in. Locked it in, she says. Uh, we'll talk more about that on shooting the shit video coming up here and if we have anything else exciting after this video happens until, until then. But uh, what? What you keep packing, man? Am I forgetting something? No. no? Okay. That's the uh, flea market finds. And, you know, we've been to a few flea, flea markets so far this mm -hmm. summer already. Well, not summer, springtime. Mm -hmm. we, but we ain't found none. So we're going to do this each, each week when we do find them, if we go to a flea market. Rap and jazz, baby. Rap and jazz. Rap and jazz tape cassettes. <laughs> Every once in a while, soundtrack of what I'm looking for. And I, I guess hair metal now. I don't know. But uh, that's it for this Flea Market Finds. I'm Movie John. This is Rousey Ronda, and we are out. Till next time. <laughs>